Do you suck at boating? Do you often find yourself running into trees, sticks, or even the boat ramp itself? Or are you just scared to go boating because you're worried you might mess up your boat? Or have you just been waiting for the right opportunity to perhaps win a boat? Is that great or what? Ooh, she floats. That's a good sign. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you found yourselves in the right place because today I'm here to tell you we're putting up the world's baddest jet boat for grabs in a giveaway. You can enter for a chance to win it today by visiting CletusMcFarland.com. Every $5 you spend for a t-shirt just like this or a sticker or a hat gets you an entry to win this entire package. If you win, you'll get a call. You'll end up right here at our shop, picking it up and driving it home to wherever you may be. We have a complete list of rules for the Bald Eagle Boat and Crown Vet giveaway listed at CletusMcFarland.com. Like all giveaways, there's no purchase necessary. You can see more information about that on our website, where the rules are. The link's in the description. But the gist of it is, you spend $5, you get an entry, you buy it. I have so much to show y'all today. We are going to the body shop to see Dr. Dr. Pepper. Yes, you heard that right. Well, Dr. Pepper is getting painted, guys, that needs some body work. We just want to get a car cleaned up to get as close to a Dr. Pepper can. We are also taking the Hellcat to shop Hellcats because that car is also taken apart and the build on this thing is going to be crazy. It's going to be well over a thousand horsepower. I'm already in talks with Holly about getting a Holly on the car. We're doing a massive supercharger. It's going to be reliable power. Something that I can drive on the street, take the Cletus and cars, do some massive rips and have something that's solid to still drive home. And I am so pumped about this thing. I just love the platform. And I got to say, you might beat me up on it, but I really believe that these Hellcat motors are like the next LS engine. They're so underrated because they have so much power they can hold with just a stock bottom end block heads and everything. But we're gonna upgrade all of that and I'll kind of go into details more when I get down to the shop. Getting her ready for paint. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, you filled that hole. Yeah, Very nice. That. No, I definitely did not want that there. there Is there? Oh, you shaved the fuel, the fuel, you shaved the fuel filler lid. Wow. That's gonna look really clean, isn't it? Hey, you even got my shirt on. Of course. <laughs> got that shirt. Hey guys, those shirts are still available. Every five dollar spent right now enters you to win part of that jet boat and the crown fix. So go to cleansmcfarland.com and get you one of those entries today. All right, so if y'all don't know Tim, he is a neighbor of Sam's, and we're at where, the Muscle Car Garage? Well, we call it the Muscle Car Ranch now. Muscle, Muscle Car Ranch. Ranch. Yes, sir. All right. I came out here to retire, as you can tell. Yep, and so you've done paint body, you know, for your career, but now you're kind of doing it for fun and to uh, keep yeah. the bills paid and, you know, not stress yourself out, right? That's it, you're right. So he was my go-to guy for getting this car back dialed to how it should be. I bought the car freshly painted, but you know, we just wanted to go through it again and get it really nice. And I've got a new hood and a new rear bumper cover because the other rear bumper cover was shaved off. The bottom was about right was about right here. So I went ahead and got a full rear bumper again. And you know, we're gonna put a new wing on it because the other one was kind of jankety. But oh man, am I excited! You want to talk about the color we're thinking? Well, yeah. Uh, a little more pearl would be nice. A little more pearl. But not too much. We don't want to look like caramel, right? Yep, I agree. And so we were actually talking yesterday, and I used to have a car with this really cool color on it. I'm going to insert a picture right here. I had a Gen 3 CTSV, and I just love the paint on it. So we're going to go with what? You think that color and add a little bit more pearl to it? Yeah, I think that would look really nice. It would look nice. I'd love to do the same color as the Dr. Pepper can, but we held one up next to the car, and it actually looks more pink than it does red. And so we'd hate to paint the whole car, same color as Dr. Pepper can, then end up in like this pink Mustang. We've all seen them, and I just don't want to be that guy. Let's get a uh, roof rack from the top. Let's get a roof rack? No, we got a trailer now. We got oh, the Dr. Right. Pepper trailer. I figured out how you got all the vents in the roof. 
Oh, the tires up yes. There. The roof was in really rough shape because we had those suction cup with the tires and our luggage and fuel and everything. And it was just beat to crap. So he got that all smoothed out. Wow, that looks way better. Way better. With Herb over at his shop and he has got my motor completely torn apart. And you want to tell us a little about what you found here? What's going on? You said we were well, just about to lose one of the bearings. Yeah, so what we have is like the, these things have tremendous crank flex in these motors. Yep. And they wind up the crankshaft pretty bad. They call it rubber banding. So anyways, number four main. Let's see it. Looks like that because of the of the wrap and the, and the torque and the so use of power. That's probably why I saw metal in the filter, wouldn't you think? I would say that would definitely put metal in the filter. You would definitely see that. Yep. So this one here is the one ahead of it's decent shape. Yep. But, you know, you put new bearings in it, it's, it's done its job. We're going to freshen it up and make it back to it. All right. Well, first of all, you were telling us a little bit of, you were telling me a little bit about yourself. But tell us a little bit about your shop. What do you got going on here? Right on. Well, what we do is uh, we take cars like this right here. Uh-huh. And we upgrade the motor, transmission. We take it. And actually, most of the time we have a goal. Yeah. So people have a goal. So how fast do you want to go? That's, that's the question most people ask. Right. So we make sure that we build them what they need. Yeah. So we start from scratch, engine program, whatever they had before, port the heads, do the motor, put it in the car, do the converter, do the gear change, and then we go out and we test the car. But you can pretty much handle everything. Everything from all the way from raw scratch motor parts, building from nothing to putting it in the car. And how long have you been in this location for? Uh, 15 years. 15 years here in yeah. Sarasota, guys. He's a legend. He knows <laughs> Sam really well and a lot of the other guys that hang around at the track. If you ever need anything local, you know, in Florida or on the west coast of Florida, this is your guy. He's always out at the track hanging out with the guys as well. We're also going to put a new, a fresh set of rings in it, right? Yes. Okay. We're going to put new rings, new bearings. Cool. We're going to try a different pump, get the old pressure back where it needs to be, and we're going to put the same back together. So which pump did it have on before? It had a... It was a melling. It was a melling, and we're going to switch to a stock LS9 pump. Yeah, we're going to go pump. LS9 pump, yeah. Okay, cool. Other yeah. than that, it's pretty much keeping the same rods and pistons, same valve train, everything's we're gonna, fine. We're going to upgrade the chain to from a single chain to a double. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. Cool. We're going to use a Rollmaster deal in there now. Nice, nice. So yeah, we're just gonna do all the stuff that I've done in the past to make these things bulletproof. So sweet. So you got there and hopefully win a race, right? Well, you know, and a good thing we pulled this thing apart because you know some of the bearings were on their way out, and you know with another race week coming up soon, I'm glad that it is in the good shape it is, so that we don't have to buy too many parts to get it back going again. But that's pretty much it for the the engine. The transmission is still being rebuilt, and then we got to get it all back together. And we're also sending the car off to paint and get some body work done because we got a new hood, a new rear bumper cover, and just take out a couple of dents and scratches. So pretty excited for what's going to come to this car. Should be pretty dialed come race week 2.0. Moving on to the next project, I have Sam's trailer. And I'm lucky enough that he's letting me use it. And it actually has my initials on it, which are RPM. And inside of here is the Hellcat. This thing, the blower is completely off. We're about to drive down to Fort Myers to give her to shop Hellcat. These guys are the go-to guys for Hellcat work right there. They know it all. They've got all the parts, all the upgrades. So if you need anything, give these guys a shout. They've got an e-commerce site online, so you can order anything you want regarding Hellcats. They know it all. They can Picking help. Picking up the transmission, the power glide, and the gear vendor from Steve here. See what was going on with this thing. We did a little rebuild on it because we ran that seven-second pass, and... Although we really didn't need a rebuild, we thought since it's out, we better refresh it, right? Yep, just refreshing, a couple of things, check it all over, everything's good. Everything's good. So you said the band was a little bit worn down, but nothing too much? A little much. heat in the band. That's a little heat in the band. Now I gotta admit, guys, I was doing something wrong. For my trans temp sensor, I had it where at? You had it in the reverse uh, pressure. Right, so it, I had it right here which is for the reverse pressure Pressure. time. So it really wasn't giving us an accurate reading, but it's the only available slot, my little knowledge. That's all I knew, right? It fit in there perfect, so I was like, screw it, let's just do that. And then did you put it in the pan? Get a pan back here. All right, so we're gonna get a lot more accurate reading there, and uh, I need to put some Deutsch connectors on those and fix it up right this time. Although this stuff doesn't happen overnight, we are slowly getting there. I've had the car for a little bit over the, a year now, and the amount of improvements and changes we've made to better the car have been absolutely drastic. So just trying to stay on top of proper maintenance to prevent piss poor performance. We all know how that goes, right? So let's get this thing out of here and get it back to the car. Obviously it's in the body shot now, but we're getting close.
What an absolutely beautiful setup. Got Sam's RPM trailer and my F-350, my absolutely beloved truck. She's a long box, just how I like it. Barely fits in my garage. Check out this image. I mean, there's no room. But this thing has just been an absolute lifesaver. I used to drive a 12 valve, but this was a good upgrade. Another update for you guys is I've pretty much finished my garage project. The lighting's up, the workbench, the tool wall, the lift. So it's pretty messy right now because I was doing a tile backsplash, but I'm just gonna show you guys anyways. We all have messy garages and I'm true to myself and I'm true to y'all, so let's check it out. Yep, there's the old side-by-side -side up here on the lift. Got the Dr. Pepper trailer, gonna be doing a bed liner in that soon. Installed some new radius rods in the back of the side-by-side -side just because we're going out ripping tomorrow. I got a drill press from Harbor Freight. Got a wooden workbench that I made up. This is some butcher block you can buy like at Home Depot. And then I welded together some framework so that it's kind of floating. Tool wall from Omni Wall. It's a total mess. I mean, whatever, but let's be real. Got a vise here and my welder and, you know, garage stuff. So that's it for the garage pretty much. Oh, and then the lighting, of course, is super sick. Got a big, uh, you know, shelf unit over there. Everything's painted black. Hang up all of my brooms and shovels and blah, blah, blah. And then this is my backsplash I was working on last night. So just things, you know, this is a uh, update in my life. Oh, there's my doggo, that's Winston. Guys, check out the trailer nader coming out between the truck and trailer. I don't know what it is about the aerodynamics of this truck and this trailer, but she is spraying all over the cars coming up alongside me. In tune of my favorite t-shirt, which you can get at clevesmcfarland.com is, I bet your boyfriend blocks the diesel pump. And sure enough, here's this guy. I got a trailer and he's blocking the diesel pump. Unbelievable, guys. Don't do it. Well, I'm happy to say this is the exact blower that's going on my car and I am so excited. I, I didn't realize they were this big. Oh, oh yeah, my God. Massive. Yeah, so, you see how the hood's cut on this? So this is a red eye. So they have a different hood, but yeah. if you close the hood and then you look through, you can see the pulley and all that. Shit. Oh, that's so cool. I think we should just cut a big old hole in mine right here. And <laughs> that's exactly what's gonna happen. Right? Oh, I love it. So beefy. It just bolts right in, right? Bolts right in. <laughs> <laughs> At 3,300 RPM, the stock blower makes what, three, four pounds? Four pounds. And this makes 20. 20 pounds. And this makes a lot more boost mid RPM. So I'm really excited about that. This thing is gonna be really cool. We're also doing drop-in rods and pistons and doing a couple other things. We'll go into detail with the car, but basically getting big power so that we can lay out on some massive burnouts and I can have fun with it on the street, which has always been my goal. Not really to drag race the car the quarter mile. I mean, obviously we'll probably take it out there to see what it can do. But, you know, I cannot wait for this. This is really cool. All right, here's some rods and pistons that are we're gonna do in the Hellcat motor. What brand are these? Uh, Mall, right? M MMX supplied these, yeah, they're Molly. Okay. And Mall, Mall and rods. These are nice. This is a crank out of a Hellcat as well. What other goodies you guys got in here? Not much. I got this nice thousand horsepower LS motor right behind me. Yeah, that is clean. Frankenstein heads, Magnus and blower. So cool. I love that LS stuff, you know, simple. Okay, so motor rebuild with Herb at high performance. All we're doing is replacing some bearings and a different oil pump. We got the transmission rebuilt by Steve. He's doing an awesome job. He's always been there for me and he was actually there for Cooper on sick week. If you guys remember that, he's the guy who helped him rebuild his transmission in a pinch and same with me. We have the Hellcat going to shop Hellcats to do a full build on dropping rods and pistons, big Whipple blower. And then we have Dr. Pepper getting repainted by Tim. So lots going on with all my cars. I feel like I miss them. Like I haven't been able to just screw around in my fun cars for a while. If you guys like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe, like, leave me a comment, and we'll see you on the next episode. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself. 
your girlfriend, whoever, they are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.